In the slums of Madare lives 75-year-old veteran Mao Mao Freedom Fighter. Gladys Wenjiko Maina, daughter to Amos Omahio, was also a freedom fighter from the onset of the struggle for independence. Kazi hile nilikuwa nae, kwetu upari hile nilizaliwa. Dugu zangu, malikuwa wama umawu. Na mimi, baba yangu, na wama umawu. Mamu, ane na wama umawu. Mimi ni mutoto ya nyuma. Kwa baba na mama. Nyuma yangu ni mumoja, tunatulikuwa watoto tisa. Bam, wasi, awa dugu zangu umawu umawu, kwetu diyo malikuwa na kunyua ya kiapo. Na nilikuwa mkubwa. Nilikuwa naona hile yote inaedelea, nikatumwa, hivo. Kwa hivo, umaumau wote. Mimi najua kabisa. Kutoka huko, nikakuwa musijana, nikaolewa. Kuolewa, nikaenda pari ya na shaba. Na awa buwana yangu ni wengi. Vijana shaba, na eka, ni moja na nusu. Maka aja kukatakatana, na mumoja wa awa, alikuwa maumau, haka uo siku ya maumau. Kama mbadu oa, haka uo kama yeye kijana. Awa ya gine nifita nifita. Tukatoka uko, tukakuja mazare na buwana yangu. Siku hiyo mazare, kanyumba hile ilikuwa uko, watu malikuwa nalipiso mwesi musima siligizate. She vividly describes the struggle herself and her family underwent during the Mamao struggle, in which a lot of her family members as well as herself or detained by the British. She passionately relieves the memories through singing liberation songs they used to keep their spirits alive. <laughs> Nibakakin Na wale marikuwa musitu, makaka uko tu na shida yao, makakuwa uko tu. Tuka shukuriwa, tuka perekuwa kijiji, tuka jegeo kijiji. Na awa wa kijana wa mutitu, marikuwa na manakuja manatoa iyo nyabo, iyo inarigisia kijiji. Na makaigia kwa kijiji, na makasija buzi na mngobe kama hii, na makakula, na makaeda. Kwa mana wegi, wale iko uko kwa, kwa kabe ya musungu. Wengi ni maumau. Kama timu wengi ni maumau. Sisi tulitisa uhuru na maumau. Na wa marikuwa manadikwa ni musungu. Wengi ni maumau. Mutu wa kiabiwa ede kwa kurala. Anamuka, anaigiria kamurango. Anakuja kijiji, manakura, manakunywa. Na anakuja naabia maumau. Kesa musiede parifurani. Saire tulikuwa faredi, tunabio tutaeda pade furani. Kwa hivyo muede musitu furani, pade furani muziede. Kwa hivyo. A brief tour of her home in Madare tells of her daily struggles. She lives in a house made of iron sheets that are charred from fires that have haunted the slum area of Madare for years now. She lives in the same house as her livestock, goats and chicken and sleeps in a small congested room that has limited household supplies. A house is also adjacent to a polluted stream that puts it at risk of being swept away. Kwa hivyo mimi na homba muigai, mutoto yangu. Muigai ya kisariwa nilikuwa na watoto wawiri. Nilisaa watato nae muigai ya kazariwa. Mimi unaniona hapa. Kwa hivyo na homba muigai, ananijua zana. Akini kubuka, hira nilimutafuta diwa kariye kiti hii. Despite all her struggles, she remains a cheerful woman who has stuck with the traditions, as evident in her dressing 
and use of traditional herbs. Joseph Chege, the chairman of the Mao Mao Foundation, who is also the son of a Mao Mao freedom fighter, known as Kamao Marigo, states the significance of Madare that held a lot of freedom fighters that fled for the Mao forest and settled in the area that led to the road being named the Mao Mao Road. Manaka nilikuta baba yangu alije hapa ni walikuwa kikaa na walikuwa wakati wa Mau Mau. Sasa wakati wa Mau Mau kuna vile Mau Mau ilikuwa kitembea hapa Madare na kulikuwa na njia yao inaitwa Mau Mau na imeshikana na Muratina Road. Sasa hiyo Mau Mau Road ndio tungipenda president wetu hmm? wa Kenya akuje aone hiyo barabara inaitwa Mau Mau Road. Na hiyo Mau Mau Road imeenda mahali kuna mugumo nafikiri kila mtu anajua mgumu ni miti ya ilikuwa ya maombi na walikuwa kienda maombi pale sasa walikuwa kipita hiyo baraba barabara na ikipita mbele kuna mahali tunaita maberaini kule maumau sasa walikuwa kijifunza mamba yao hapa madhale kule vile jifua huko kuna mahali panaitwa <coughs> panaitwa ma, maberaini lakini siku hizi panaitwa bondeni huko ndio sasa kwanza hata ile mawe mingi imejenga na robi ilikuwa ikichimbo wapi sasa pale mau mau ndio ilikuwa ikijifunza habari ya shaba hmm? wakijifunza ku, kupigana na, ma, na, ma, na, na mahadui zao the freedom fighters that are now living in poor conditions have requested for president uhuru kenyatta's intervention to help alleviate their poor state of affairs heroes who contributed highly in our own fight for independence as a country deserve to be supported by the nation However, that is not the case with Gladys Wanjiko Maina, a veteran Mau Mau fighter who still lives in misery. Scott Morioki for Switch TV News in Nairobi County.